Welcome back, everybody, to our third and final webinar of the big updates that we have here at Gameball. Today's topic is all about automation. In today's webinar, I'm joined by Ez, who's our product manager and the lead of the automation update. And today, we'll be introducing you to this powerful new feature that's really going to enhance your customer's experience. So in today's webinar, we'll be covering a few things. Number one, we'll talk about what is automation. We'll talk about the feature itself, what it means for your business. And then I'll end it off with some insights, some examples, and some things to think about of how to include automation within your strategy so that you build a really strong rewards program, a really strong retention strategy, and you automate that with our beautiful new automation feature. So let's kick it off. I'll hand it over to Ez to introduce automation. All right, thank you. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. Um, I'm really excited to be here with you today, and I would like to uh, kick this off by thanking Lauren for introducing me to you guys. Uh, now let's dive into the topic at hand. Uh, in today's webinar, uh, we're going to cover three key points. Um, the first is what is automation? Uh, second, how does automation fit into uh, the gimbal ecosystem? And finally, uh, we're going through a high level experience of how you can use automation in Gimbal. Um, so first let's talk about uh, what is automation. Uh, for those who doesn't know uh, automation means, in short, uh, automation is a powerful tool that allows you to create uh, personalized user flows that engage with your customers based on their actions. Uh, these flows can be triggered by a variety of actions, uh, such as uh, your customers uh, adding items to their cart, uh, and they're abandoning those carts. Uh, maybe they are purchasing certain product or viewing a certain product, whatever actions that they're taking. So for example, to make it more clear, um, let's say that uh, you have a business uh, problem, which is basically a lot of your customers are abandoning their carts and not completing their orders. Um, with automation in Gameball, you can actually solve this problem. Uh, you can create a flow that automatically engage with those customers and encourage them to complete their purchases by offering uh, them, for example, uh, a discount or a coupon that they can use to check, to use it when they are checking out and purchasing those orders. Um, so this is how we can start thinking about different kind of uh, other examples of automation. How can automation <clears throat> leverage those to achieve your business objectives? Um, so without... Uh, without further ado, let's talk about like exactly how automation fits in Gimbal ecosystem. Um, at its core, Gimbal is a customer intelligence and intelligence and a marketing CRM designed to turn visitors and occasional buyers into loyal uh, lifetime customers. And we really believe that automation is a key part of that mission, um, allowing you to optimize the customer journey uh, and drive loy uh, loyalty by engaging with customers in a highly personalized way. Um, and now let us explore this high level experience of using Gimbal, uh, automation in Gimbal. Um, for the high level experience, uh, I will show you how it works and uh, the main elements of those, uh, of those uh, parts of building the automation to fulfill your business objectives. You'll be able to uh, to access the automation from the marketing section. <clears throat> it is worth mentioning that we just recently revamped the entire Gimbal dashboard um, to make it easy to use and intuitive. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I encourage you to uh, check it out. It's super awesome and very intuitive. To create an automation, what you have to do is you under the section, the marketing section, you click on automation, and from there you'll find a button which uh, create an automation. You simply click on it. This will prompt you to a wide blank canvas uh, you, where you will be able to find uh, a menu with three main sections, uh, the triggers, uh, actions, and controls. Um, each section has a unique elements uh, that you can use to build your automation flow. Um, so let's start with the triggers. So in triggers, those are the elements that you need to start your automation flow with, such as setting up a certain event, uh, maybe that event might be like uh, a customer is adding something to their cart or um, maybe a customer um, viewing a certain page. Other triggers like um, achieving a certain challenge <clears throat> or entering or or entering a new level or a segment and other triggers that you can use. As for the actions uh, section, you have all the outbound 
um, uh, all the outbound lo and loyalty elements. So for example, you can use it for sending emails, mobile push or web messages. Uh, you can also use it for loyalty elements such as rewarding a coupons or rewarding a challenging uh, challenges, sorry, or adding or deducting points. Um, so you have all the ecosystem that we have at Gameball in 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 the in the section where you can use it to uh, create certain actions in your automation flow. Uh, and finally, the the last section uh, in this menu is the controls. Uh, so basically, the controls are. Uh, are those are the elements that you that combines the triggers and the actions all together based on a set of conditions. Um, so those are basically uh, certain rules that you set up for order the automation flow can uh, can go through the entire journey. Um, and also it helps you to create multiple uh, journeys within the same flow or the same automation for your customer. And finally, the control section. Uh, you will find the elements that combine triggers and actions all together based on the setup conditions. And those elements give you the privilege to create uh, multiple journeys for your customers. Um, you can create some flows from uh, from that where you, you wait for a certain events from your customers to achieve, and then you do other actions or further uh, actions in your uh, automation flow. Um, finally, what I would like to show you is basically the settings tab. Um, in that section, you can actually set up a f um, an audience filter to ensure that only a certain type of customers are eligible for the automation flow. You might be having a certain business objectives for a certain audience, not the entire uh, customers, the customer base that you have that you want to target them with a certain flows. Uh, so certainly uh, through the section, through this section, you can do it. Um, and also, uh, you can also set up an exit uh, automation rule, which will allow you to automatically remove customers uh, from the flow if they completed uh, a certain action. So for example, uh, if if a customer purchased uh, a, a product from your website worth $1,000, um, before you sending them a reminder to do that action, uh, you don't have to get them to send them this uh, this message, which will be looked as a, it's a spamming uh, message rather than being an encouraging message for them to make the order because they've already purchased the, uh, the product worth $1,000. Uh, and by that, um, this is the high level of how you can navigate uh, the automation flow. And I think Lauren will be uh, discussing with you more further about like what kind of business uh, flows that you can set up and how intuitive and uh, easy to use uh, the automation. And back to you, Lauren. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ez, for that overview. I am really excited about this feature because there's so much you can actually do with automation. And there's a couple different ways that you want to be thinking about automation. All the points that you mentioned, like let's say following a specific business goal or a specific outcome is really important. But also another way to think about automation as part of your retention strategy is really using data-driven user insights into these flows. So if you remember previously, we had a webinar about our RFM and analytics, and this was all about understanding the users on a very granular level breaking them down into different segments, breaking them down by activities, understanding different behaviors about them. Now with automation, we could take this to the next level. So one thing that I would recommend in your retention strategy is to do something where you look at your user behaviors in RFM and analytics and test these out using automation. So I've uh, loaded an example here that I worked on where I decided that a certain segment of my customers I wanted to try and upsell them on a specific product because they're higher spenders. I want to reward them and I want them to try the new product that we have. And so you can also think about this in an experiment form where you're understanding what works for your customers, what doesn't, and consistently testing these behaviors through automation. So in this flow, what I've done is the trigger that I've set is a segment entered, which is the game ball team that I've chosen as my segment of high spenders in my uh, business. And I'll start off by sending them a web message. Now, keep in mind, this is a really powerful way to send very specific personalized messages to your customers. And like as mentioned, this is actually from Outbound. So it's really wonderful because we're pulling all aspects of the Game Ball program into this one automation feature. So you send them a message, we wait for an event. And in this uh, scenario, I've actually chosen that they complete an order. If they've completed the order, they get top spender. If they don't complete the order, we remove them from top spender. 
maybe don't recommend doing that for all customers, but it's an example of how you can further even segment out your customers depending on very specific activity. From there, I might send them a specific email depending on which tag they are. And if they're top of the top spenders and I really want to show them that I care about their loyalty to the business, I'm going to give them a coupon for a specific product. For the others, I might give them a, another type of coupon and be able to upsell them to push towards a different action. So this is just one of many, many examples of what you can do with automation. But the idea here is that when you are setting up your rewards program with Gameball, you want to think about it as a whole retention strategy. So the foundation is setting up your whole program, things like the challenges, the badges, the VIP, the referrals, et cetera. Then you want to think about making the user experience something like no other. This is how you differentiate it. This is where automation comes in really well, because like I mentioned, you can separate the experience for all these different customers, depending on who they are. That way you'll be able to test different insights. You'll be able to see the impact of that and you'll be able to curate really unique and personalized experiences. So what I would recommend is try out the automation tool, couple or test out a couple of different flows. And what you wanna think about is separating it by the different segments, or let's say the different VIP players or however you might wanna um, group your customers by their different activities and try different experiments to see how you can target them. So these are just a few of many examples of what you can do with automation. It's a really powerful feature that when used in tandem with our outbound feature, our RFM and analytics, and your entire rewards program, you can create a unique, personalized, and data-driven experience for each and every one of your customers, which is really exciting because every customer will be treated in a way that will be personalized and fun for their entire experience. If you ever need any help with these kind of ideas, our customer success team is always here to help you. We've got ideas, we can help you with your strategy, and we can make sure that you've got the right flows in place to make sure that you're really targeting the customer at the right time. With that, we'll end our webinar on automation today. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you again, Ez, for walking us through this wonderful new feature that we have. And as always, you can reach out to our team through live chat on our dashboard. You can book a call for our strategy, or you can get started with automation right away to supercharge your customer's experience. Thank you so much for joining us today.